Yes, you may remember me as the Rough Rider who led the charge on San Juan Hill. I was a rancher in the West and a tough police commissioner. I took on the political bosses. I was a relentless reformer. I championed natural beauty and animals. They named the teddy bear after me. I rose like a rocket to become, at age 42, the youngest president in history. But when I was a child, no one would have thought I had much future at all. I was sickly and nervous and timid. My biggest problem is asthma. It hits me with no warning at all. doesn't seem to be any cure for this asthma. The doctors have my parents trying all sorts of drastic treatments, like nicotine. Gee, come on, Titi, you know you must try this. reading books about the kind of man I want to be. One of the heroes who tamed the Wild West. His bones were prodigiously massive. His hand felt like lead. His fist could crush a puma's skull. Such was Bill Johnson. Guide, hunter, trapper. Rugged, but sublime. But I have to face the truth about myself. I have no future in adventure. All right, take a deep breath now. Deep breaths. Yes, come on down. I know you both realize that asthma is an enigma. The lungs swell up without taking in air, and then they press against the heart. And one thing about your TD is unfortunate. His, his chest is its very small, and there's just no room for the lungs to expand. And I'm concerned about the way his heart sounds. I wish that somehow we could find a way to make more room in that little chest. You sent for me, Father? Theodore, you have the mind, but you have not the body. And without the help of the body, the mind cannot go as far as it should. You must make your body. It's hard drudgery to make one's body, but I know you'll do it.
least an inch. Half inch? Fourth of an inch. between attacks. I read everything I can about James Audubon. He was the ornithologist who studied America's birds. One thing that really fascinates me is stuffing animals. When you do taxidermy, you're supposed to use arsenic as a disinfectant. The smell is powerful. Father? Petey, come in. Uh, well, uh, yes. Well, I think you're ready for a teacher. <laughs> there, that's good. Now, the next step, we wrap the body around the wire. See if you can do that. I stuffed a bird like this for Mr. Audubon once. Were you with him out west? In the Dakota Territory, in the upper reaches of Yellowstone. Did you run into any buffalo? The other way around. The buffalo ran into us. Here. What happened? Well, one day Mr. Audubon was sketching. He would get totally lost in what he was doing, so would I. About 200 yards away, there was a herd of buffalo. And suddenly, without any provocation, this bull buffalo began to charge. Pretty soon, I noticed it was heading straight for Mr. Audubon. What did he do? Well, what could he do? Club the critter with his easel? Here. Let me fix this. You got too much cotton in there. So what happened? My rifle was a few feet from me. I made a dive for it. The buffalo kept right on charging. It was getting so close, I knew I'd have to get it on the first shot. No time to reload. And I knew if I missed, the world would lose the greatest ornithologist that ever lived. So, I fired. Now we need some thread. I think there's some in my coat here. Did you get him? The buffalo? Gun. At last I had met someone who had real adventures. All summer long I dreamt about doing things like he did. Teeny! Come here. I have something to show you. Gosh. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> now wait a minute, wait, hold, hold. You're crazy, Roosevelt. You weren't even aiming. You try. Hey, we better get out of here. Look. What is it? Come on, let's go. Don't you see a sign? <laughs> 